Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain air pollution. It is also one of the important question, eight marks question in the IPE from the ecology chapter of first year zoology. So in the ecology of first year zoology also, the remaining questions are food chain and lake ecosystem. Then after the important question is air pollution. So here in the environment we have a different type of gases are there so here the pollution pollution means here the undesirable changes in the environment for example we have a different type of gases oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen sulfur phosphorus lead and a different type of elements also there so in the desirable content it will be okay but if not the undesirable changes in the environment leads to the pollution in that we have a question air pollution we have a different type of pollutions are there water pollution soil pollution noise pollution even though but here the long answer question is air pollution pollution means the undesirable changes in the environment of physical or biological and environmental changes that caused by the pollution so in the air so here any deviation from the natural composition of air in the environment that will affect to the human and as well as plants that is called air pollution so here what are the major air pollutants are there the major air pollutants are carbon monoxide carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxides and aerosols so these are the major air pollutants you have to write some important introduction and then what are the air pollutants then you write important points means how it will be produced and what is the effects to the humans what is the source of these pollutants so you have to write that points so first of all carbon monoxide so it is produced by where is the source the source of the pollutants are these are produced by the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels and also from the automobile exhaust from the vehicles then factory flames then emission of power plants and forest fires and burning of firewoods these are the sources of the carbon monoxide then how it will affect to the human so that is the point so this carbon monoxide affects to the humans they will add to the hemoglobin of rbc they can form a carboxy hemoglobin then what is the effect of carboxy hemoglobin means in the human body the hemoglobin will transfer the oxygen to the tissues and cells to all over the body so due to this carboxy hemoglobin the carrying capacity of oxygen is very decrease so the inhalation problem and carrying capacity of oxygen is very low due to that headache will occur and blurred vision in the eyes and it leads to more they will go to the coma and even though death also occur that is the impact of carbon monoxide air pollution in the human so what is the source of carbon monoxide and how it will be affect so this is also two marks important question even though this question also in the chemistry so concentrate here then carbon dioxide it is produced by the respiration of living beings while we are exhaling we can release the carbon dioxide but the plants utilize that carbon dioxide by the help of photosynthesis and this main pollutant leads to the global warming this is the major current issue in the present world then and also urbanization due to the urbanization means deforestation like that they can move to the urbans then automatically the emission of carbon dioxide also increase by the aeroplanes by the automobiles from power plants also so how it will be affects means it cause the global warming so due to the global warming it may affect to the human activities then sulfur dioxide it is produced by the burning of fossil fuels almost in all air pollutants this is the common thing 
burning of fossil fuels, melting of sulfur ores and metals melting. And acid rains. So this is the MCQ also and also 2 marks beat also. Nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide. These two together to form a acid rains. What are the what are the acid rain pollutants means sulfur dioxide, sulfur and nitrogen oxides. So how will be effect to the human activities means to in human breathing problems like asthma, cardiovascular problems means heart related problems and corrosion of buildings and monuments. For example, Taj Mahal in Agra due to the acid rains, due to the sulfur dioxides, the color of the monuments will be changed. This is also previous MCQs. They may give the corrosion of building and moments. What is the air pollutant is impact more. So they may give all options. You can choose sulfur dioxide. To control the sulfur dioxide pollutions, they can use scrubbers in the pollution. to It is a pollution control device. So if the scrubbers will attract to receive the sulfur dioxide like uh, chemical smog, air smogs in the Delhi also they can plan. So likewise here also scrubbers. Here S yes, scrubbers utilize. It is a pollution control device for sulfur dioxide. Then nitrogen oxides. Nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen monoxide. Likewise. So here this is a major primary pollutants. Automobile exhaust from it will affect to the human and as well as plant. So already we discussed sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide together, acid rain. So due to the acid rains, the acidity in the water bodies, croplands and monuments. And nitrogen oxide along with hydrocarbons and sunlight, it will produce a photochemical smog that is PCS. This is also MCQ. So which gas with the which oxides together with hydrocarbons and sunlight to form a photochemical smog? That is the question by the nitrogen oxides. Then what is the impact of PCS means they can form a spots on leaves. So due to that in the leaves total spots occur there is less rate of photosynthesis automatically the crop yield also reduced. And also PAN, peroxyacetyl nitrate. So this nitrogen oxide combined with the secondary pollutants, it release peroxyacetyl nitrate. So remember PCS and PAN are the MCQs by the nitrogen oxides. So you have to remember nitrogen oxides with hydrocarbons and sunlight. Nitrogen oxides, hydrocarbon, sunlight, photochemical smog, nitrogen oxides, secondary pollutants, PAN, PAN, peroxyacetyl nitrate. With the help of peroxyacetyl nitrate, it will cause the irritation of eyes and respiratory tract problems. So this is regarding nitrogen oxides. Then last, aerosols. So this is the colloidal particles means just like a small micro particles is called aerosols. This is liquid droplets and this is dispersed in the gases by combustion of fossil fuel also and fly ash industries, thermal plants and cement factories, asbestos factories will release the aerosols. So what is the effect? It will decrease the lung function. Why? Because while we are breathing inhale these particles are entering into our lungs. So decrease the lung functions, it is cause the chronic bronchitis, respiratory problems, irregular heartbeats. So these are the effects of aerosols. So you have to write what are the major air pollutants and what is the source and what are the effects in the human beings. This is the long answer question. Thank you. If you like the video, please share and subscribe.